Sydney, Ohio. Sydney is a city in Shelby County, Ohio, United States approximately 36 miles, 58 kilometers, north of Dayton and 100 miles, 161 kilometers, south of Toledo. The population was 21,229 at the 2010 census. It is named after English poet Sir Philip Sidney and is the county seat of Shelby County. As well, many of the city's elementary schools are also named after famous writers, such as Emerson, Longfellow, and Whittier. Sydney was the recipient of the 1964 All America City Award. In 2009, it was the subject of the documentary film 45365. Sydney is home to the 1881 Second Empire Courthouse, the 1877 Gothic Revival Monumental Building, dedicated to the county Civil War dead, the 1918 Early Modern People's Federal Savings and Loan Association designed by influential architect Louis Sullivan which has been designated a National Historic Landmark, and the smallest house in Sydney on Shelby Street. The Big Four Bridge is a local landmark that has carried rail traffic since 1923. CSX Transportation uses the rail line and bridge as part of the NYC division of Conrail, a direct descendant of the New York Central Railroad and Penn Central Transportation. CSX also operates the North-South Rail Line which was better known in earlier years as the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and later as the Chessie System. The Graceland Cemetery features monuments and memorials of large concrete angels and other structures and statues. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. As of the census of 2010, there were 21,229 people, 8,344 households, and 5,577 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 9,265 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 90.3% white, 3.7% African American, 0.2% Native American, 1.6% Asian, 0.2% Pacific Islander, 0.8% from other races, and 3.3% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.2% of the population. There were 8,344 households of which 35.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 45.7% were married couples living together, 15.2% had a female householder with no husband present, 6.0% had a male householder with no wife present, and 33.2% were non-families. 27.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.51 and the average family size was 3.01. The median age in the city was 36.1 years. 27.2% of residents were under the age of 18, 8.6% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 25.6% were from 25 to 44. 26.2% were from 45 to 64, and 12.4% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 49.1% male and 50.9% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 20,211 people, 7,981 households, and 5,371 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,938.5 people per square mile, 748.2 per square kilometer. There were 8,557 housing units at an average density of 820.7 per square mile, 316.8 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 92.61% white, 3.06% African American, 0.24% Native American. 1.87% Asian, 0.10% Pacific Islander, 0.40% from other races, and 1.73% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.30% of the population. There were 7,981 households out of which 34.6% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 49.8% were married couples living together. 12.8% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32.7% were non-families. 27.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.50 and the average family size was 3.03.
In the city the population was spread out with 28.1% under the age of 18, 9.1% from 18 to 24, 29.7% from 25 to 44, 21.3% from 45 to 64, and 11.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females, there were 95.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 92.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $38,663, and the median income for a family was $45,672. Males had a median income of $35,127 versus $22,497 for females. The per capita income for the city was $19,075. About 9.4% of families and 11.5% of the population were below the poverty line including 15.5% of those under age 18 and 7.9% of those age 65 or over. The city government is a council manager system. The city council consists of a mayor and six members, three council members are elected at large by all city voters, while the remaining four are elected from each of the four wards. All council members serve terms of four years. The mayor and vice mayor are elected by the council from their own number by a majority vote and serve terms of two years. The council meets the second and fourth Mondays of each month at 6.30 p.m. In addition to their bi-weekly meetings, council also meets the first Monday off each month in workshop sessions. Most meetings are held in the municipal building's council chambers. Council members include, Mike Barhorst, Mayor, at large, Marty Milligan, Vice Mayor, First Ward, Daryl Erber, Second Ward, Edward Hamaker, Third Ward, Steve Wagner, Fourth Ward, Janet Bourne, at large, and Joe Raderman, at large. From the 1840s to 1913s, canal boats carried Shelby County's products to Cincinnati or Toledo. Sydney was crossed by the Miami and Erie Canal Sydney or Port Jefferson feeder branch. Before railroads came to Sydney, the canal provided most transportation. As roads were unpaved and not usable in all seasons. Part of the canal remained south of Water Street. The city of Sydney, named after Sir Philip Sydney, a well known poet and member of British Parliament, was originally a parcel of land located along the west side of the Great Miami River. This land was donated by Charles Sterrett to be used as the site of a new town designated to be the county seat of Shelby County. The area around Sydney was once the richly forested hunting ground of the Shawnee and Miami Indian nations. This fertile area was developed as agricultural lands over time. The construction of the Miami Erie Canal between 1825 and 1837 connected Sydney in a north-slash-south direction with the major trade centers in Ohio. In addition to opening the first significant outside trade for Sydney, the construction of the canal attracted an influx of settlers to the area. As the influence of the canal declined, another transportation element, railroads, began to develop in Sydney. East-West Rail began to be laid in 1851, followed by North-South Rail in 1856. Sydney is still served by these railroad lines. In the 1950s, the Interstate Highway contributed to the development of Sydney. It was named as All-America City in 1964. Today, Interstate 75 connects Sydney with Canada to the north, and Florida to the south. Sydney has four interchanges with Interstate 75 providing access for both commercial and industrial users. Sydney is located north of Dayton, west of Columbus, south of Toledo, and east of Indianapolis. Sydney offers an historic downtown featuring the famous Louis Sullivan-designed People's Savings and Loan Building, the monumental building, erected as a memorial to county residents who had died in the Civil War, and the Shelby County Courthouse. The courthouse, which occupies one city block known as Court Square, was recently named by the National Trust for Historic Preservation as one of the great American public places. Sydney has an extensive parks and recreation system. When the city's first comprehensive plan was being developed in the mid-1950s, the city decided to have a park or recreation area within a half mile of every residence. This goal has resulted in a system of 14 neighborhood parks, a baseball complex, softball complex, soccer complex, municipal swimming pool, and the Ta'awa Park, a nature and picnic area. Sydney is the hometown of Paul Lauterbur, a renowned scientist and Nobel Prize winner who helped develop the MRI. In 1984, President Ronald Reagan visited the city of Sydney on a train, 
the same train that President Franklin D. Roosevelt used during his visit to Sydney in 1944, while touring the country. President George W. Bush visited the town in 2004, eating at the Spot Restaurant in downtown Sydney. Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney visited the Shelby County Fairgrounds in Sydney in 2012. Sydney, Iowa derives its name from the community. The town of Buckeye, Arizona was originally named after Sydney. Malin M. Jackson, who built Arizona's Buckeye Canal, was from Sydney. Sydney is the headquarters location for many companies and a branch location for many others. Many companies were formed in Sydney and continued to be operated by local residents. A diversified employer base offers jobs in manufacturing, especially in the automotive industry, and service sectors. In addition to the Sydney based employers, Hunt of America and a engine plant, seven miles north of Sydney, is the single largest employer in Shelby County, with 2,400 associates. Amos Press of Sydney publishes Coin World. Lynn's Stamp News and other nationally distributed hobby publications. The agricultural base in the area has commodity grain, livestock, and dairy activities. Sydney, Ohio has a drive in movie theater, the Auto View, located on the corner of 4th Street and Russell Road. The drive in opens in May and closes in September. During the fall season, a large corn maze is created on the south side of town at Vandermark's farm on Vandermark Road. The area has a driving range for golfers and a zip line. A downtown revitalization group called Sydney Alive provides a great farmer's market around the court square during growing season. They also put on events for the community like an Easter egg hunt, kids around the square, winter wonderland parade, chocolate walk, horse and carriage rides, mystery dinner, and more. They work with the small downtown businesses and the buildings. They are working to make Sydney a fun place for young professionals and families to live. The Shelby County Historical Society operates the William A. Ross Jr. Historical Society at 201 North Main Street in Sydney. A collection of Sydney and Shelby County historical artifacts is available for viewing Monday through Friday, 1 to 5 p.m. and Saturday 9 a.m. Noon. It is closed on Sunday and holidays. The annual country concert is held at Newport, Ohio the second week of July. Many country and western stars have played there over the years. For the outdoor enthusiast, State parks include Lake Loramie, Kaiser Lake, Indian Lake, and Grand Lake St. Mary's. They are easy drives from Sydney. Camping, boating, hunting, and fishing are common pursuits in the area. Sydney City School District operates four elementary schools, one special needs school, closing in the fall of 2019, one middle school, and Sydney High School. Layman Catholic High School, affiliated with the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Cincinnati, is also located in the city. Sydney has a public library named Amos Memorial Library, a branch of Shelby County Libraries. Sydney is served by the Sydney Municipal Airport. Dayton International Airport is south while Port Columbus which serves Columbus is east. Sydney has two railroad lines. Both were built independently in the 1850s. Until the 1960s, passengers could take the Knickerbocker Limited from Sydney to Grand Central Terminal in New York City. This east-west line was built as the Bellefontaine and Indiana Railroad which ran from Galleon, Ohio to Union City on the Ohio-Indiana border. It was built in conjunction with the Indianapolis and Bellefontaine Railroad, providing a route between Cleveland in the east and Indianapolis, and later St. Louis. In 1864, the two were merged into the B-Line, the Bellefontaine Railway. In 1869, the lines were merged into the first big four, the Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Indianapolis Railway. In 1889, the second big four was formed, the Cleveland, Cincinnati, Chicago, and St. Louis Railway. In the early 1920s, this railroad relocated its tracks from downtown Sydney to the south edge of the city over the new Big Four concrete arch bridge. Early in the 20th century, it was leased by the New York Central System. Later the Big Four was taken over by the Penn Central, then Conrail, and finally CSX Transportation. Other concrete arch bridges in the region were designed and built for the Big Four, they are located in Avon and Greencastle, Indiana, and Danville, Illinois. In the 1950s, passengers could board a train in Sydney and take it south to Cincinnati or New Orleans. This north-south line was built as the Dayton and Michigan Railroad. In the 1860s it was leased by the Cincinnati, Hamilton, and Dayton Railroad. It was taken over by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad early in the 20th century. Later the line was taken over by the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad, then by CSX Transportation, 
and passenger services were reduced. The Dixie Highway, later US 25, now known as County Road 25A, ran north-slash-south through downtown Sydney, connecting it with Toledo and Detroit to the north and Dayton and Cincinnati to the south. Interstate 75 was completed in the early 60s. Located west of Sydney, it took the place of the Dixie Highway and most off the traffic. Four exits from I-75 provide direct access to Sydney, Exit 90, Fair Road, Exit 92, State Route 47, Exit 93, State Route 29, and Exit 94, County Road 25A. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.